In this tutorial, we will be showing you how to build a fig rig for your DSLR or small video camera. Keep in mind that this rig will work for many different types of cameras. First, you will need shelving structure, which you can find in the electrical section of Home Depot. You will need a piece of 36 inch by 1 quarter inch thick threaded rod. Next, you will need four 1 quarter inch flathead bolts and nuts, four finished nuts, 1 quarter inch, 1 quarter inch wing nut, and two bike grips and one half inch electrical pipe clamp. Next you will need three pieces of 8 or 10 inch by half inch threaded or non-threaded pipe. You also need one 4x4 or 4x6 steel plate. The steel plates you can find in the lumber section of Home Depot. There are many different types of metal cutting devices you can use to build these types of projects. Um, some of the more common ones are circular saws, chop saw, uh, a sawzall, and a grinder. Cutoff blades for these saws are very cheap and inexpensive. First thing you want to do is cut two uh, pieces of your shelving structure at 16 inches. Next you're going to cut your threaded rod slightly longer than your 8 inch or 10 inch steel pipe that you have because you want it to stick past the steel pipe at each end so you can fit the bolt in on either side. Um, after you use these types of cutoff wheels, um, whether it's a circular saw, a grinder, or a chop saw, the edges of the steel that you have cut are going to be fairly sharp, so you want to be careful not to touch them or snag them. Um, I prefer to use an 80 grit or 120 grit flap disc or sanding disc to smooth out the edges of the material that I've cut. Also, it's recommended to do the same with the threaded rod as well. So, here's what we have so far. We have our two pieces of threaded rod, our two steel pipes, our two 16 inch um, shelving structure, our handle grips, and our washers and nuts for the ends of the pipes. You're gonna put the threaded rod through the steel pipe and attach the washer and the bolt at each end. Next, you wanna make sure the washer is large enough to fit over the hole in the shelving structure and line it up in the middle if you can. Here's what the main structure of the fig rig looks like. Next, you're going to take your third 8 inch or 10 inch uh, steel pipe um, for your handle. Um, I'd recommend using a shorter one, maybe 6 inches uh, to 8 inches. 10 inches might be too long. Next, you're going to take a 4 inch by 6 inch steel plate. Uh, you're going to drill a hole in two sides of it so we can fit our quarter inch bolt through it and attach it to the shelving structure. You're also going to want to drill a hole in the center where your wing nut's going to go through for the camera. Next you're going to want to attach that using those quarter inch by inch and a quarter or inch and a half long bolts. I prefer to use a flathead side on top because it's rounded and smooth as opposed to a hex on top where it might scratch or scrape against your camera when you're trying to get it attached to the rig. So we have the rig with the plate and the hole drilled in the center in the back so that we can put our um, quarter inch wing nut through the hole and it will go directly into the threading on the bottom of your camera. Um, as you can see here in this demonstration, uh, you, get, you still get a bit of you know, up and down uh, bobbing when you're walking with the rig, but there is quite a bit less rotation in the camera, which is much more jarring to the human eye than the up and down motion. The handle is great for doing follow cam shots on a skateboard. If you're a skateboarder or snowboarder, um, follow cam shots are really good for that type of thing. This is the finished rig painted with the camera attached. This tutorial was brought to you by the DV Rebellion.